So my journey began the same way that all great journeys do, with a little bit of good old fashioned character creation. I started off by making my character a nice young whippersnapper, and gave him an athletic build because apparently that is popular on Tinder these days. I then gave him the eyes of a serial killer, the eyebrows of the creepy guy that hangs out outside of the women's public toilets, and a face that resembles what I imagine quack, a quack, and stage 9000 quack, quack, would look like if you rolled them all up into a ball and then made a face out of it. And then it was time to give a name to this abomination. I finally settled on Bart ugly because that is exactly what he was. I broke out of prison and made a new friend who promised me great things if I would come back to his camp with him. I had a feeling that we were going to have Instead, his mum gave me a brand new cowboy outfit, a bowl of roast vegetables, a golden shower and a handy, and then sent me on my way. As I was now a free man that just had the best golden shower and handy of his life, I decided to head into the nearest town and search for a wife. Although I'd only had this horse for about 30 seconds, he was a faithful mare, so I paid my respects by teabagging him. However, being a glass half full kind of guy, I saw this as an opportunity to squeeze in a little bit of extra daily cardio. When I finally arrived three months later, I was both dehydrated and delusional and stood in the center of town whistling for my horse repeatedly as I had forgotten that it had a head on collision with a tree and was now dead. Obviously my horse never came, but someone else did. You're like the cowboy version of Agent 47. That's right. You are disgusting. You are honestly horrible. Am I really? I have never seen anything so... <laughs> I've got shit all over my face. <laughs> I'm feeling so good, I'm gonna punch my horse in the face. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a drink. I need a drink after all this dying. Absolutely. In here? Yo! Oh, I love this song. Oh, shit. That's that new... Justin's Beaver. Justin's Beaver, yeah. Yeah. Yay! 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 I won't dance. You won't dance? Well, you gotta kick your legs like this. Yeah! 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 That's it. That's how you do it. You just gotta kick. <laughs> you gotta kick. You gotta turn. Just keep playing, partner. He, he don't wanna play. I think I upset him. You know what I love even more than drinking these drinks? Hey, what's that? Throwing bottles on the floor. You always do tell the most fascinating stories, brother. Well, you know. I'm really curious to see how durable Harriet is. Well, let's find her. Tie her ankles with a rope. Does she pass the durability test? Well, I know I do. I know you do, you handsome devil. Do you pass the test? I always pass the test. Well, I want to find out. Oh, shit! Yeehaw! Yeah, oh. yep. Hey, yeah, yep. Oh, my goodness. Not the track tracks. <laughs> uh, uh. Time to get in touch with nature. Bet you never felt like this before. Getting the Earth's energy through your... Oh shit, where are you? <laughs> it's your time. Your test. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yep. Oh, that oil has rich. Oh. How do you feel? I don't know how I feel, but I look like a million bucks. Come on, you need a mouthful of this, sludge. <coughs> Take it, you dirty boy. Take it. It's in every orifice. Look at this. We're doing snow angels. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. I can, I can feel baby Jesus crying himself. I feel reborn. You want to speak tongues now or something, brother? <laughs> <laughs> looking good, brother. Looking good. Well, I'd say you're looking better. You're looking, your skin's got a natural glow. Thank you. Healthy. Pregnant. You're, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I just feel like just thinking about things. In this town, you don't get much time to just stop and think. That's true. For a little bit. That's true. I just like to think about how my Mima she used to tell. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. This way, this way. Let's go. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Over there. Yep. Over yonder. Yep. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure she's gonna dig me more than she's gonna dig you. Listen, I got a wife and kids. I don't need no Harriet. Well, you know. Okay. Where is she? She playing hard to get. She was supposed to be right here. Come over here, brother. I found some. I found some evidence. You found a Harriet? No, I didn't find Harriet. I found, I found evidence. Where are you? Come here. I'm with the evidence. Come here. No, you come here. I can't show you the evidence if I come to you. All right, here I come. Okay. <laughs> I just heard a loud scream in the distance, <laughs> and now you're not on my map anymore. <laughs> I found something here. I feel like it might belong to Harriet. You thinking what I'm thinking, partner? Don't touch it. Oh, shit. Oh, you just Look put it that. in your pocket? Um, uh, that, that's my business. I'm taking that for myself. I need to do some research with this. Where the shit is Harriet? Harriet. Oh my God. Everybody be swapping left on Harriet. Oh, look, piece of pizza. That's some good looking pizza. I like my pizza thick. I like my pizza with no toppings on it. <laughs> no, no toppings whatsoever. I feel like jumping through the window. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Good. Right behind me. Right, right behind me. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh my god! <laughs> Brother! Get up! 
Is that me? Come on, you're coming with me. Holy shit, it's a doppelgangbanger. Come on, brother, we're gonna get you back. We're gonna make you safe. What? That? You'll be all right. What? Can you see me? Can you? Wait, wait, I'm alive. Come on, brother, let's go. I'm gonna bring you back to life. That ain't me. That's my doppelgangbanger. I'm gonna get you back. Don't you worry about it. Oh, shit. Oh, brother, I wish you were here. <laughs> I'm right here, brother. I miss you, brother. Hold on, brother. Someone behind me is really getting in my face. Hey, you. Hey, what? Back off. What? What? I need to look after my brother here. Oh, shit. There's a train coming. Brother? I can't believe that this is... I can't believe I'm watching this right now. <laughs> Rest in peace, brother. You were good, brother. I was the best, brother. Come on, we got... Last walk. <laughs> we got... <laughs> 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 What do you say to me? You learned your lesson? I don't think he has. I don't think he has either. Those two guys behind us are just riding <laughs> off. <laughs> we didn't see none. That's what you get. I ain't done yet. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, join in. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> That's right. Make an example. Oh, it's dinner. Of course. Sadly, my brother was now gone, but he left me his horse so that I would never forget him. His horse is now gone too. Anyway, this was a journey of self-exploration, and one thing that I learned about myself was that I enjoyed hog-tying people and then throwing them off the side of cliffs. See ya, pal. Oh! As I had developed quite the taste for vigilante justice, I rode into the nearest town to see if I could acquire a bounty hunting license. That one there might want a bounty hunting license. Help him out, won't you? That true? You want a license? You want to get registered, you're gonna have to say... Well, do you or don't you? Because I was too brain dead to just say yes, I stole the bounty hunting license from the sheriff and ran to my first job anyway. With the steady handedness and accuracy of a Russian sniper on benzodiazepams, I picked off all his henchmen, then hogtied him and threw him on the back of my horse. Unfortunately, however, old mate was being a little bit of a Karen, so I demoted him from first class and sent him back down to economy. As this loser was a beta male and had the audacity to die without even asking for permission first, I taught him a brief lesson and then dropped him off at the police station anyway. With that out of the way, it was time for me to take on my first legendary bounty. This bounty hunting mission had me going to the snowy mountains where I was to locate a legendary outlaw by the name of the Wolfman who was last seen around Lake Isabella. As soon as I got down to the lake, it started to rain, which wasn't all bad as I hadn't had a shower in six months and smelt like a rotting corpse covered in dog shit. Much to my surprise, the Wolfman actually had two campfires and I immediately felt a twang of jealousy. That aside, I assumed that he was staying in the one on the right because there was a crazy man and a ginormous bear running straight towards me. Oh, shit balls! He's got a fat bear. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> That's the wrong target, bro. Stop. Wolfman? Wolfman, are you... Are you okay? My Wild West journey, however, would not be complete until I had one of these ridiculous dead animal hats atop my head. I then spent my next four real-life hours scurrying through the woods at night like the rodent that I am, desperately looking for a skunk to skin and put on my head. The skunk is my spirit animal, after all. Finally, I found one with a perfect three-star rating, put a bullet in its skull, and then ripped its skin off its body. On my way back to the skunk hat shop, a mysterious stranger rode up behind me. That would be the last mistake that he ever made. Finally, I returned back to Fat Gus and bought myself the skunk hat of my dreams. The lady next to me told me that it suited me, but as I only accept compliments from other alpha males, I shot her a couple of times and then quit the game because I knew that if she came back, I wouldn't stand a chance. That's all. 